Hi guys, how the hell are ya? Um, I'm getting ready to go out to the world. <laughs> um, actually, why does my hair not look bad? Couldn't tell you. Just woke up from an attempted nap. It's a Saturday, by the way. We're doing a spend the weekend with me because I was meant to take a break from all things online job <laughs> for the next two weeks, last week of September, first week of October, and I didn't do well at that. Um, Olivia fails a challenge challenge. I always win that one up top. Anywho, I <laughs> want to film this little weekend video because I just freaking do, okay? <laughs> How about that? So I'm going to, and we're gonna go to the library together because I have a bunch of holds to pick up. And I also have another book that I just saw on the Barnes and the Noble. And I wanna go just kind of browse their romance section. I'm in a romance mood, guys. I'm in a fall romance mood. I just want to read all kinds of books that fall into that category, so we're going to do that. Um, problem is, it's 12.20 right now. You can kind of see that. Not really. Let's try again. Once more. Boom. Oh. Oh. Okay. We tried. Some things never change. Let me get pants on. One sec. All right. We're going to go with the always unflattering 90 straight ultra high rise Abercrombie jeans. Um, they make my butt look great, but also they really emphasize that I have literally no vertical um, width upon this world. That's not how width works. That's called height. Some things never change. So I can't remember as usual what I was saying before I interrupted myself with my own thoughts. But I just am in the mood to film. And so what I want to do is I want to film this little weekend vlog moment. And that'll go up on Tuesday. And then I also want to film my October TBR jar video. So I guess that'll go up on Thursday. Maybe we'll switch them around. I don't know. Oh, wait, it's Wednesday, actually. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Wednesday is like the go-to, though, right? For like vlogs. Like we all know those are like live vlog days. So I guess maybe Sunday? Is that too late in October to put up a TBR? I don't know, who makes the rules? No one, so I guess I can do it out. I do it alone. But why I was telling you what the time is, is we're seeing A Haunting in Venice. Is it the title? Don't have time to look it up. I need socks, come on guys, come on. We gotta get a move on, what are you doing? You're, you're just laying down on the job. There is no job. Oh my God, my eye is just like, so cute. Anywho, any hooter what's it's. I am seeing a haunting in Venice with my partner and my mither at, good God, 425. So close to a cool time. <laughs> I'm back teaching middle school and you can tell. Uh, I also am going to go with them early though because my partner has some math stuff to study. I really wanted to go to the Starbucks that's up by this movie theater so that I could read some of my book. And then my partner wants to study some meth. And then also my mom was like, hello, coffee, I'm there. That's cool, wish I could bring my dog and my cat. Can't, apparently that's frowned upon still. That hasn't changed. And um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. Don't we love a chaotic <laughs> intro? But I have about an hour to go to the library, pick up the books, do a little haul for you guys, and then we're gonna be heading out to the movie. And that is the plan, Stan. So without further ado, let us go. I brought my handy dandy little tote. This is my favorite one. This is my go-to. You've probably seen it a few times at this point. This is my favorite one to bring with me to the library because this is the one my little brother got for me when he and his boyfriend went over to Ireland. And I just love it a lot. So let's go pick up my holds and then browse. Let's switch up these jeans. Yeah.
Okay, hello. We are back in action at home. So I picked up a lot. Not as I didn't browse as much as I thought I was going to, as you probably noticed, because um, here, let's. There, now you can see my face. Um, because, listen, champ, I have so many freaking library books at home already. Ginger, your food is like so fresh. That's just how it is. That's just how it's gonna be. Actually, I guess I don't need this anymore since I'm, I'm in my home and if I wanna look like a goblin, I can do that. Um, but I need to get more water before we go on the journey of talking about all the books that I got. So, one moment. All the kids at school have Stanleys now. Who's gonna tell me why <laughs> they all have cooler ones than me? What's going on? What is going on? That's another thing I need to do this weekend though. I need to clean my Stanley out and I'll probably switch out to a different one for this week. But let's talk about books first. Oh my God, uh, sit on the tripod please. I know Jake, imagine, imagine not tripoding. Ooh. <laughs> okay, is this too dark? Do we need more light? Do we say let there be light? I say let there be light. Beta. Beta. All right, so y'all saw we did, I mean, we didn't do any damage because it was all free 99, but we got lots of books at the library and I'm very excited. I'm really excited about all of them. They are all giving me like the perfect fall vibes. I've really, I don't know. I think I've stopped associating thrillers with fall. Fall is more mystery fantasy to me now, which is interesting. Definitely let me know what your like fall genre is. Cause I do feel like everyone has a genre that they associate with fall, but why is romance getting there? Mm, I don't know. I don't know because guys, I'll talk about it in the weekly vlog that's coming next week, but I have read two or three romances at this point on the week that I wasn't vlogging, I was reading those, which I know some of you are like, bruh, dude the week that you're vlogging, you don't talk about all the romances that you read. I know. We'll talk about that when I get to that vlog though. I promise. So the only really thriller that I got, which is not even really a thriller. This, to me, Mona Awad is more of a horror in like an A24 way, which I don't always like. My partner does. I don't always like. Like I did not like Midsummer. That's because it gave me like an anxiety attack. <laughs> I like Hereditary though. There's something about a possession. That out of context is a wild statement. Okay, so the first thing I got was Rouge by Mona Awad. I know that this is a commentary on the makeup industry, I guess, but it just says it's a horror tinged gothic fairy tale about a lonely dress shop clerk whose mother uh, mother's unexpected death sends her down a treacherous path in pursuit of youth and beauty. So we'll find out. I'm excited. I do like the cover. Very minimalist very interested um and then i rechecked out the gilded cage because i recently read the prison healer in a weekly vlog and i did start this one but i put it down for a little bit because i was like i need a genre switch but i'm still into this series so i wanted to keep a hold on that then in one of the patreon sprints someone brought up the once and future witches and then i saw a few other people on instagram that i follow check it out too. So I went ahead and grabbed the copy that my library had on hold and I am excited about this one because I love witches. I love this cover. I just didn't want to read a UK binding version. Not gonna lie to y'all. And there's no other holds on it. So I was like, okay, then I will check this one out. Maybe this is weird. I'm very... <laughs> conscious of my library holds like if I own because sometimes I will check out books that I have like a copy of but I just don't want to read the special edition which I know some people love reading them some people don't I feel like there's no in between you either do you don't I don't mainly because I hate 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 the binding so much no one is holding this and I check it every week because I think my library checks them out for three weeks so I check it every Sunday to make sure no one's like in line and if they are I do go drop it off and then I'll just like read my copy and just suck it up because I don't know but watch it be someone else who's doing the same thing and they're like oh my god thanks girl and then I just like get back in line and wait for that to happen does anybody else do that i'm very plugged in to my items out and my requests on my library like i have a tab open at all times to keep an eye on them i also don't know why 
Then I checked out the night in question. I had this one checked out, but someone else wanted it, so I put it back in, and now I have it again, and I'm getting more in the mood to read this because, again, mystery is definitely my genre for fall, and this one is a YA one, and y'all, if you've never tried YA mysteries or thrillers or horror, I highly recommend. YA horror is becoming quickly... Not horror, sorry. Horror is quickly falling out with me, unless it's Grady Hendrix. I'm just not really into the genre anymore. Thriller, though. Thriller, I'm still in love with. YA thrillers are so unhinged. Like, they're just doing the most wild things, and I love it. If you have not read it, I'm looking at it right now. I would highly recommend The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and then One of Us is Lying. My trifecta. I love them. Then I fell into peer pressure and I checked out Fox Glove. I liked Belladonna enough um, to obviously finish it. And I am kind of interested in where this is going. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to be like the other girls because that's truly my goal in life. Then this is the one that I was browsing. So I want to do a little Barnes fall book shopping date video. And I was looking at some books that I want. There's really only one fall specific. No, there's two that my library does not have and I really want to read them. So worst case scenario, I read them and I don't love them and I'll just put them on Pango or I'll probably honestly take them down to a half price that's near us and just do it that way. But there was this other one that I saw because if there's a cute dog on the cover, I will be there. I don't know anything about this. I really miss doing that where I don't know anything about the book. I haven't seen anyone talk about it. Like I just want to read it based on a little blurb in the cover. And so... For that reason, I picked up It Started With a Dog. Now, I do believe that this is a Christmas book, but I also do believe that I don't care. <gasps> Wait, why is my name in here so often? Is one of the characters' names Olivia? No, the main character is not. Okay, thank God. And then next up, well, last up, I have Body and Soul Food. This is the Patreon book club pick. Look how cute it is. It's a little, like, tiny one. Why did I knock on it? Is it gonna open up? ding dong like no that was weird but I have loved this author's other work which I believe is the ice cream right the ice cream one what is it called a deadly inside scoop oh yeah it's the ice cream parlor mysteries that's what I was thinking of but the first one is a deadly inside scoop I really liked it a lot so I'm excited to read this one too so here is all my library haul D aren't libraries just the darndest thing I <laughs> I am such a freaking fan of libraries. Like, I just love them so much. I had to spend zero dollars to have this much joy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Also, yes, there was a, a clothing change, by the way, because it's 90 degrees outside, despite the fact that I'm faking that it's fall in my mind, in my soul. Metaphysically, spiritually, it's fall to me. Okay. Okay. So, now that that is done and we have all of these books... <sighs> okay. You know when you go to the grocery store... You, I feel like, whether you want to admit it or not, many, many a people will go to the grocery store and then get a little treat on the way home. Like, you don't typically eat lunch from the groceries that you just bought that morning. You know what I'm saying? Dinner, yes, but not lunch. Because it's like, I don't know. I don't know. That's just a thing that my parents did. It's a thing that I do. Not a thing my partner does. We're working on that. But it is a thing that I do. I have the same thing with the library. I go to the library, I get all these books, and I'm like, mmm, but one of these on my shelf is looking so grum diddly umptious. And that is this book called Powerless, which is a fantasy book. I just saw Haley over at Haley Fam Vlogs read it or show it in her video. I didn't finish the video because when I tell y'all I'm falling asleep at nine o'clock on the dot, it's embarrassing, and I'm literally falling asleep with like YouTube open. So I'm so behind on videos. I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just an old woman inside and outside now. I really want to read Powerless because I see a lot of the girlies talking about it and I want, again, 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 I will reiterate until I have breath no more. I want to be like the other girls <laughs> and I want to read what the other girls are reading. I love hype. I'm so into hype. I am anti-anti-hype. <laughs> I love hyped books. It's just so fun because it feels like a giant book club, you know? So speaking of that, I also want to reread Fourth Wing this month, but I'm gonna have to do my TBR video and pray that one of the seven prompts does fit for that. Because did I read all of the books on my TBR last month? No. Did I really think I was going to? Yeah. Isn't that funny? Now, I need to go confront reality and try to fit all of these onto my 
library loans shelf, um, which I keep right in view of my favorite reading spot, aka my bed or the chair in the bedroom. And it's it looks like it's gonna be a library heavy month, y'all. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna go try Powerless and see because when we go to the bookstore I want to have a book that I'm gonna read for like the two hours that we're there and I just don't know if I want it to be one of these or that. I'm kind of feeling a fantasy. I feel like I want to do a fantasy and then really get into some of these mysteries and thrillers. So that might be the plan. I don't know. Let's go. Okay, hi guys, happy Sunday. I got home from the movie yesterday and just wanted to lay in bed and read my little bookie book and I did that. So first up, the movie, A Haunting in Venice, highly recommend, especially if you are a spooky but not a scary girl and you want something mysterious, spooky. It does have jump scares, but I feel like this is just a modern, more scary, Clue. It isn't Clue, obviously, but it feels like the Clue movie with a little less humor and a little more scary, spooky strangeness. And I really, really liked it. So I would definitely recommend this one. And then I continue to try to read Meet Your Match. This one is about a NHL player and Essentially, the main female character, she has a job where she is a social media person. I don't know if I'd necessarily say she's an influencer, but she is a like a news journalist kind of person, but that is utilizing influencing to kind of step into that world. And she gets assigned to like this hotshot rookie of the NHL team in Florida. And she is supposed to be following him around for this like 24 7 for a month living with this guy whatever his name is i already forgot and that's just supposed to be the little things it's like forced proximity they're kind of like working together and it's a sports romance so there's that this is by the same author that wrote what is currently now one of my favorite sports romance series, the Red Zone Rivals series, which is the ones that I've been reading recently when I wasn't filming here. And I don't know what happened in between the last book that I read by her and then this one, because even the writing, I don't love as much. Now, if I really like the romance premise enough and I like the characters' personalities enough, I'll just kind of like deal with one. But I can't deal with not liking the characters' personalities because there's no plot that's going to override that, for me at least. And yes, this plot, I like it. I think it's intriguing. I like the idea of it. This, so the male main character, I just know he likes to hear himself talk. You can't convince me otherwise. And then the female main character, she's just annoying. And you know what it really, really is? They have the same personality just different ways of showing it, and I don't like that. I don't like that in a romance in the least, apparently. I just think it's annoying. I really, really do. The only time I like that between characters is when it's like a chaos duo and it's in like a fantasy book, you know? Like a Six of Crows ragtag team kind of thing, and those are the two weirdos that bonded. I like that. Um, I don't like this. So, I don't know if I'm going to keep reading this. I found myself enjoying the side characters more and I want to have one about the coach and then I want to have one about, his name's Will, I think. He's a single dad. So when that one comes out, I'll read it. But for now, nay nay. Uh, I did pick up another romance. I think it's The Right Move. It's by Liz Tomford or something like that. I don't know. I'll put it up here. Okay, okay. So I have that one. And I may just put romance on hold for right now because just for the week that I'm off of work because I've realized I really love to read a good romance at work because it's very easy for me to like pick that up on lunch, put it back down and then be able to pick it back up again when I get home. It's not as hard for me to like connect back into the world like it is a fantasy. And now I should take the time to take advantage of the fantasy 
reading. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I did start Powerless, which y'all saw yesterday, in Le Birol. And I only got 20 pages in, but I am liking it so far. I don't really know how to make this make sense, but it's reminding me of like qualities and characteristics in Sarah Janet's writing that I really like. And it's very easy to read, yet very descriptive and very, I don't know, it just kind of throws you into the world. And I do indeed enjoy that. So I think this is going to be the one that I go with for now. And I plan to put my phone away today. I'm not talking to anyone today. I don't feel like it. I don't want to. I did talk to my partner so we could order brunch and we're getting it from one of our favorite places. And I did get a little coffee. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't had real coffee in like almost two weeks. So We'll explore that. And I think that I'm just gonna hang out and read this guy. And that's just kind of the plan for today. It is not an incredibly long fantasy book for me. It's just shy of 500 pages. But again, this writing is so readable. So I think that we could, we could get some things done here. And then, oh, I do need to film my October TBR video. Well, actually no, because I'm putting this up on Wednesday instead. So I can film that a little later in the week, so. Actually, that worked out really well. Go us, team. Like, a high five right now. Ready? One, two, three, four. Boop. We got it. Okay, I'm gonna go. And I think that's really it I have to update you on. Um, no coffee making B-roll today, though, because I am getting it from the brunch place. Hopefully it's good. Sometimes it's not very good. I've noticed, once you start making your coffee at home, you don't like other places as much. You just don't. So why do I keep going to Starbucks? Riddle me that. Okay, y'all, y'all think about that. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the top reader pop in all the land goes to Jacob on his fall pumpkin blanket spread. Hi guys. So it is two hours later and for transparency's sake, I had a bit of a doom scroll moment after I ate breakfast. I don't really know what it is. Sometimes I get on Instagram reels and it is great and it makes me want to be productive and typically it sparks a creative feeling in myself. I don't really like to create short form content because no matter what the girls want to say about long form is hard or short form is easy or short form is hard or short or long form is easy or whatever, whichever way it goes with the argument. Personally, I will never ever stop being just in awe of people who can do both. Y'all know, long-winded girl here. So short form is not really my thing. I can do the B-roll short form, but that's kind of it. And I feel like who cares about that anymore? You know what I mean? So I stick here, but I love to consume it. Uh, however, sometimes I do get in this, like just a habit of scrolling. Have you ever been scrolling and you're like, literally, why am I doing this? You become conscious that you've been doing it for forever. You're like I said five minutes an hour ago, what are we doing? So I am going to record myself reading purely for accountability purposes um, so that I don't get on my phone. And that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're also gonna change out my phone case. I have a case to buy one, not sponsored. They did send it to me like last year when I worked with them, but I've saved it for spooky season. And it is just, I can't remember the girl's name, but she is very famous for like her drawings of model runway kind of looks. And I have one from there that is just, it's like Nightmare Before Christmas chic. I love it. So we'll switch into that later, but I'm going to force myself to read some of this. Um, I am a little tired, so I don't know if I may take a little snooze just because when I am feeling just like defenses down anxiety, not active anxiety, but just like I'm not sleeping well enough. Things outside my control have happened and so it's making me anxious, but it's that like, you gotta let it go girl kind of anxiety. Um, so it's to me, that's more passive than active. Sometimes literally just a little brain break of a 20 minute power nap will be enough to reset. And apparently that's the thing. My therapist brought it up and I was like, oh, 
Well, maybe I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two because I do that a time or two. So, <laughs> we might be doing that. I don't really know. But for now, I want to record one of those little clips that the girls do <laughs> and that I've done before. I don't know why I'm actually like I haven't done it. I know how these go. But I just want to do it so that I can have it. And then also because it's going to keep me accountable for reading. And I just think it'll be good all around. So, I have my little... Stand, stand the man and I'm gonna drink my water this is what I do um, by the by if you are having anxiety and reading helps your anxiety because sometimes you just gotta let her go okay let her go and that's really hard to do super simple to say not the easiest to execute so what I do is I do read a book typically physical because it helps to have something tangible to touch however on my Kindle, this that I got, uh, this pop socket, it is from Etsy. You can just look up custom pop socket is what I looked up and I found this shop, but there's a bunch of them like that. It's not tactile. What was I going to say? That's a learning method. It's just, it's got different kinds of surface feelings. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but yeah, you can. It's very like got a pattern here that I touch and sometimes I'll touch that while I'm reading my book by the way this is the book I was talking about mile high right move is the next one but this is the one that I'm reading romance wise on my kindle any hooters what I'm saying this all for is having something that I can touch helps because you know that whole thing of like name however many things that you can see how many things you can smell how many you can touch taste whatever so I do deep breathing like through my stomach well not literally you use your lungs hello anatomy let's go belly breathing is deep breathing instead of like shallow breathing in your chest I do that and I focus on drinking water because never ever has drinking a lot of water not helped me feel better obviously there is a such thing as drinking too much water I learned it when I googled it because oh, an anxiety spiral, of course. That would take me a while and I'm probably never gonna get there. So I end up drinking about three or four of these a day <laughs> because it helps a lot. And it's just kind of like a, a thing to do and to think about. And then the deep breathing, why I suggest that is because it takes more of a thought process than just your typical run of the mill breathing. And I find that when maybe my body is feeling anxious, but my brain is not, like once the brain has focused on my book, my body is still kind of in that mode, it will, go right it will revert back to shallower breathing and so having that be an active thought process really helps a lot it's very grounding and then having a book to read is very helpful too so that is what we're gonna do my other thing speaking of grounding i ideally would be doing this outside because i'm a very big believer in like even look it's it's listen follow me stick with me even just standing barefoot on the ground five minutes I feel better. I really do. Don't know what it is. Don't know what, what what makes that. If you have theories, let me know. But genuinely, it really does make a difference. And could it be placebo? Sure. Don't care. Don't care. Because it works. So, capital P, placebo. <laughs> My name's right next to it in the dictionary. Don't care. It works. A rat, a rat. Uh, so, we're gonna do a little reading. And I'm gonna let you know. I'm on chapter three now. So, I did read a little bit more. I'm three chapters in and I'm still liking it. I think the whole plot is our main character saves the life of the prince and then gets thrown into some kind of challenge, which I love trials. I love trials and tribulations for them, fictionally, in a book. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. But what I do know so far, let's talk, um, there's a plague that swept through the lands and now this kingdom is like walled off and I guess kind of just everyone else avoids them because they don't want the plague hello and those that did not um, pass away from the plague they gained powers and they're known as the elites so like if you were faster now you're super fast now you're track star if you were strong now you're the hulk if you were i don't know what else you could do that's really the only two they told me about but those kind of things and then you have the people that don't have that who are just called ordinary i like to find out where i would be in this world that would be me. I'd be the one who's ordinary, who's hoping someone would like steal a sticky bun and grace me with it. That would be me. <laughs> yeah, I am liking it so far. It is, it is a fun time. It is a fun time. And now we're going to keep going. We're going to do what we got to do. We got to do what we got to do. Okay. All right. Also, always going to recommend an ASMR room. Always. Necessary. It's part of the, part of the process, guys.
Hi. So it's been a while since we checked in. It's almost four o'clock now. We had a very early dinner. Don't ask. I'm trying to go to bed super early tonight. Um, but I actually decided to pick up Mile High, which I showed y'all earlier on my Kindle. And so I got to chapter six in that, 45 pages in. I'm 11% into it. And this one is another NHL romance, but I think she is the flight attendant on the plane that they use, and that's how they meet. So I'm liking it so far. I like the writing way better in this. I think that I can't read... The reason I cannot binge specifically romance series is because I don't like reading the same writing because I eventually get tired of reading the same writing style. Honestly, that may extend to any series, actually. I, I think even fantasy. I like to have like a little break in between. But I want to go make a little decaf coffee. So that's what we're gonna do. I think I wanna use the espresso machine though. I don't think I want to do the, what's it called? How do you, the Nespresso, <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna make that and then we're gonna hang out. I'm watching all of the vlogs that I have saved from my watch later on the TV and obviously this is our bedroom and I like it. I don't usually watch YouTube on the TV but I'm really liking this so I might do that more. But I'm just watching those vlogs, reading this book and now we're gonna go get some coffee. So let's do that. Hello best friend. This made me laugh way too hard because why can I literally picture that? See you. 